Ada maceralarımızdan herkese merhaba. Bugün Sant Kro Adası'nın Christian State merkezindeyiz. Ve ne yapacağız? Resim! Evet, Selin'in en sevdiği derslerinden biri burada resim dersleri. Biz de onu oraya götüreceğiz. Ama öncesinde bu Şirin bölgeyi gezmek istiyoruz birlikte. Burayı tanıtmak istiyoruz. Sonrasında e, çocuklar için her hafta sonu yapılan bu sanat sınıflarını ve kazandırdıklarını konuşacağız. Gezme günümüze başlıyoruz. Evet! Christianstead'de Hollanda Danimarka mimari tarzının hakim olduğu karakteristik yapılar, turistik amaçlı dükkanlar, butik oteller ve restoranlar tarihi limanın çevresinde kümelenmiş ve turistlere oldukça zevkli ve renkli bir dünya sunmakta. Şehrin minik ama önemli caddelerinde Karayip Adaları'nın sıcağından biraz olsun koruyarak gölge sağlayan arkadlar, Sevimli butik dükkanlara erişimi kolaylaştırmakta, zevkli alışveriş olanağı sağlamakta ve bölgeye inanılmaz bir mimari değer katmakta. Denizaltı sporları için çok zengin olanakları olan adanın sahil kesiminde de su ürünlerinden lezzetler sunan lokantalara uğranabilir veya bu bölgedeki butiklerden hediyelik eşya alışverişi yapılabilir. Çarşıda dükkanlara ilgiyi çekmek için Zaman zaman müzik eşliğinde dans eden bir Moko Jambi ile karşılaşmak da mümkün. Bu tarihi mekanda son 20 yıldır Beyaz Saray'ın ulusal Christmas barış ağacı süslemelerini hazırlayan Cam işçiliği ile ünlü atölyesi ve satış mekanı görülmeye değer. We see oh, all these things you. on the wall, thanks. and also you're doing these kids' lessons. Yes. You know what's what's the inspiration behind that? Um, my own kids, <laughs> my own kids. Um, when I when I um I taught karate, I taught oh. regular school, and then when I started doing my art studio, I really didn't want it to be a dead space. I wanted it to have to be full of life, and kids do that. <laughs> uh, what do you think are the benefits of the kids to do art? Oh, tons. Tons. It's um, it's focus, you know. It's um, it's creativity. It's acceptance. Where maybe a child would not be good at forming letters and such, they might be good at um, creatively opening up the right side of their brain. So um, I find that a lot of children start off, you know, as long as you can get them past that frustration point of cleaning their brushes and learning the mechanics of it, it really like makes them bloom in their schoolwork as well. So definitely, art is a huge part of that, and their rules. There are always little rules that they have to, they have parameters that they have to stick inside of, even though there's a lot of freedom on the canvas. What's a good age yeah. to start or? Okay, well normally I like them at about five, but not all children are the same. So usually if someone wants to bring their child who's a little younger than five, I simply ask that the parent comes too, and if the child seems fine and there'll be no separation anxiety, because that's really the age that they're comfortable alone, Um, you know, I'm, I'm okay with most any age group <laughs> because uh, once I get to be 15, 
uh, like Angie, my helper, she becomes like the apprentice and becomes the helper in the classroom. And the projects can be structured differently so that um, it's a, still a challenge to an older child. This is not like a regular school art class. No, no, so, no. The answer is always yes. Yeah. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, but you have you have uh, quite quality. You're using acrylic paints, uh, these yeah. kind of things. So mm -hmm. just uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of cheap materials. I mean, it's like trying to make food and not having good, you know, ingredients. So I think in giving children long handle brushes and teaching them immediately, you know. This is how you clean your bowl of water. This is what you're shooting for, you know. I do the same thing with the adults that I do with the children. I learned that when I was teaching karate was the kids will go as far as you let them, you know, and, and skill develops in stages. So always give them the best things that you can, you know, and let them and let them know there's different avenues like golds or silvers or sparkles or whatever, you know. Just keep them interested. What would you say are the similarities between karate and painting? Meditation. Meditation is a huge part of it. Um, with karate, um, you're mostly learning art through your body. And with, uh, with painting, it's more art through your mind. So, uh, and actually a form of uh, martial art is uh, zooming, which is brushes. So that's a higher art, actually, in karate. So I find a lot of the same principles stick clean with um, both ways of teaching. Like with children, don't call them out by name. Never, you know, never like uh, push them down, always bring them up. It's always the same. It's always just bringing out the best in them slowly. And wherever the child is, that's where you start. You don't start where you want to end. <laughs> you start, okay, if our, if our deal is changing the water, then we learned that today, you know, and then we moved to the next step. And karate was a lot like that too. Uh, we teach windsurfing in our academy uh, mm -hmm. in Turkey and while teaching to the kids, I learn a lot of things from them for my, uh, oh my gosh. sport. So what uh, you, you are, to, yeah. If you have to break it down, you learn so much, you know, and I can't tell you how many times, I mean, I think it was Nivea, one of my students who was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if one of your paintings just led to the next and led to the next? And I was like, that's a great idea. <laughs> because it's, they're clean, they, they see it, you know, and everyone sees it, but children don't have the, um, they don't have the filters on, they'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's good, it's good for your work. You thank know? you so much. Mm -hmm. Also My for pleasure. the experience you are yeah. making, Selin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big, yeah, a big thank yes. you because this is something lovely. she looks yeah. forward to the whole week. Oh, you know, that's wonderful. And, so she's lovely. You. She's lovely, and it's it's a good chance for um, what I do notice about it is some of our schools are kind of here and here, and they get kind of clicky. But um, over the years, I've noticed that when they come in here, they'll talk about to each other about their different schools and their different cultural experiences. So it's a really nice setting for everybody to accept each other. So I've seen some really nice children friendships bloom in here, which has been really cool. Very yeah. Very nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you once so again. again. Yeah. Wow. 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 Boyaları karıştırdın, renkleri kullandın. Evet, bizim için çok renkli bir gün oldu bugün. Bölümümüzün sonuna geldik. Bizi ve anılarımızı takipte kalın, hoşça kalın. Bu da, bu da yer.